If you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. I think those Russian weathers are on their way. It's getting a bit windy and it's bloody cold. It's minus seven. Bit nippy. Anyway, I don't feel like doing the rest of this um, stuff, this antenna stuff today. I feel like playing with an engine. So I'm going to play with an engine. I'm going to get an old lawnmower running. Before I do that, I've got to tidy all this up. But before I tidy all this up, this chap here, Del Boy's Lockup. I'm not promoting his YouTube channel, although. Probably really like that last video was like 10 months ago. But what I, what I am going to say is, he seems to have some sort of company selling chemicals and bits and bobs. Um, like I've had a look on his website, it's got like valeting stuff, um, you know, screen wash and all kinds of random stuff that you might, you know, you might use. So I'm going to put a link in the description to this video, and if I'm feeling fancy, I might even put a link up on the screen, but you can't copy and paste that, so that's not really any good. But go and have a look and see what you think. I've ordered the screen wash, it goes down to minus 24 apparently. Now the screen wash that I've currently got in my van, it actually froze this morning. And uh, that's supposed to go to minus 10. And according to the temperature gauge it was minus 7. And it still froze, so that's a load of crap. So I went on and I ordered this minus 24 uh, screen wash that he says is the bollocks. So when that comes we'll have a look at it and we'll see... Uh, well I'm not going to test it, but... We'll have a look at it anyway. But I'm going to put a link to his website. Go and have a look at it. And uh, there might be some stuff that you like on there. Hopefully there will be. Also, it would seem that he's having a 10% off on all products this month. So this month is 24th of uh, February now. So you've got a few days left. So by the time you see this, it will be the 25th, 26th. Probably be the 27th. So you'll have a few days. We're also having 10% of all products this month. There we go. And that's the website there, FastTrackChemicals.com. But there's going to be a link anywhere so you can copy and paste it, so do not panic! Anyway, let's get some of this cleaned up because I've had enough of all this mess. Look at all this wire that that stupid welder wasted when it keeps getting blocked up. There's three strands of this. Every time it gets, every time it gets clogged up, all that wire, what's in the sleeve, which is like this long, gets blocked up and then you have to take it all out and all that wire is wasted. I wouldn't usually care. The reason the reason I'm caring this time is because I pay for the bloody wire. If I was at work, working, and it was fair enough, but I pay for that wire. Damn it. Well, you asked for a shed tour. Can't do much of a tour. But it's daylight now, so we can have a look inside. Because I need to get that lawnmower out anyway, so let's have a look. I need to get that lawnmower out because I need to have a look at it because it was broken. It weren't running very well, so I'm going to get that out and have a look, but I need to get all of this out first. Cool. Very rubbish in here. Ha <laughs> Full up. Love it. Fair enough. There it is. I got it out. And I had to lift it up and pick it up and all the petrol come out of the air filter. <laughs> the petrol was brown. It's all uh, the petrol's about a year old, probably. Hmm, probably about a year old. Petrol in there. Anyway, it didn't get it too wet. Back over there. I'm going to see if I can get it going first because there's some of these people do these videos where they say it's not running right and then they don't show you what it's running like to start with. So how do you know? It's ridiculous isn't it? So let's see if we can get it going and we'll have a look. Who knows what this is going to turn out to be like. Might run, it might not. Stop. Yeah. Oh. 
tape the snap. Oh, I've got no trouble now. Another trouble. The other trouble is the throttle cable here has snapped right there. It snapped right there. So that's supposed to be attached onto there like that. It's come off. So I wonder if I can uh, pink, bring that up and bend it round. Let's have a look, see what we can do. Might about fix that. Because without that, I can't put the choke on. So without that, I can't really start it. Well, it started, but not very well. All right, there we go. I've got my old long nose pliers, pulled that up, bent it around. We'll have a look at that. Pulled it up, bent it around, so it goes back through there again now. And it pulls it, but it seems the throttle is a bit stiff. So I'm gonna go get a bit WD-40 now. Right, we got half a movement. Oh. See what will happen. Well, so it's pretty obvious that we've got a fueling problem of some kind somewhere. Now it's a little bit dark, so let's see if we can stuff a bit of light on it. Can we? That's not really helping me at all. I don't know whether it's helping you. Oh, there you go. Eh, a bit better than nothing. So, we need to have a look, see if we can get into the old carburetor. Yes. There's some bolts.
that's what we've got, a bit of a carburetor. That's actually got a proper one on it as well, not a stupid one. I've had this lawnmower for quite a long time, I've had this lawnmower. And um, it's had a new engine and a new deck. So, you know, it's like a custom mower. <laughs> Um, this is a Honda engine what was on it. It, it was a Briggs and Stratton <laughs> Briggs and Stratton engine Briggs and Stratton deck now um, But I put the Honda engine on it uh, Because it's a decent engine and it's got a proper carburetor the Briggs and Stratton ones have just the tank with the, with the stupid little plastic carburetor on top of it So the tank is the float bowl as such, but these proper Honda engines have a separate tank with the Turn off your throttle and um, a proper carburetor see so you can actually uh, diagnose it and actually work on it properly. So it looks like that's what happened. It's a bit, uh, a bit stiff and broke the thing there. But we've got uh, an air mixture and a fuel mixture screw as well. But what ne what it needs, it needs to be cleaned out. So I'm just going to take it off and give it a bit of a clean. Right, so I've got the carb here. It's full of petrol though, and I don't want to get petrol all over me bench. So I'm just going to empty it out. Empty the old petrol out. Actually, I probably should empty it out of the drain plug. Empty all that out onto this carpet first. Because I don't want to get that all over me bench, you see. So the petrol, that'll all soak into the carpet now, and that'll be uh, that'll be all right. That will. I bet none of you know what I've done here, so I'll tell you exactly what I've done. I've just started a new project or a new thing before I've finished the other ones. So again, I've just had to clear away another half-finished project from the bench in order to get this old to get this new one on the bench. So there we go. Ah, this is interesting. That's the bottom of the float bowl. We appear to have all kinds of grit and rust and all kinds of stuff in the bottom of there. So that's interesting. Looks like there's some sand. I don't know why there'd be rust in it because the tank is, um, the petrol tank on this is plastic. So why there's rust in there, I will never know. Doesn't appear to be too much along the bottom of there though. Let's have a look to see what the float's like. The float seems alright. Let me get that pin out. Where's me uh Where are you? Oh there you are. All right, I've got you. Don't panic. I've got them. I've got me pliers. So let's get that pin out. See what this float's like. See the float ain't too bad, that's uh it's not dirty or anything. There's a bit of stuff up in there, all around inside there. So I guess it's just time to blow it all out. Clean it all out with a bit of carb spray. Blow it all out with a bit of air. Yeah. That's all I'm going to do. I ain't got any brake cleaner left. So I can't, uh, can't use that. Having said that, I did have some brake cleaner somewhere. I don't know what I've done with it. Anyway, so I don't think I've got any. So I'm just going to use a bit of carb spray uh, and some air and we'll clean it all up, get it all blown out and cleaned out and then we'll have a look in there. But I'm going to have to order a new gasket um, or some gasket paper at least. I'll, pr I'll probably get gasket paper because it'll be cheaper and better and I can make my own gasket. Um, and then I need to get a bit of fuel line because I broke the fuel line when I was taking this off. So anyway, there's a lot of carb spray in there now. I'm gonna go and get a toothbrush. I spray a bit of carb spray in there, and I go and get my toothbrush, and I'll swirl that around, clean that out with the toothbrush, and then we'll see what happens, dudes. All right. 
So I've given it a bit of a clean with a bit of air and some carb spray. So let's have a look inside of here and see what we can come up with. <laughs> don't want to come out, does it? If it don't come out in the next couple of seconds, I'm going to scrap it all together and I'll just leave it. Because that's the way the cookie crumbles in this world. It's all for themselves, you know what I mean? So, if it don't come out, it's staying in. Nearly there, it's coming to the end. It's nearly out. But I don't mess around. There we go! And we're out! So we got ourselves a bit of a jet. Doesn't appear to be blocked in any way. Nope. Not blocked. Not blocked. We're alive. We're alive and we're kicking. So that's the way we like to have that then. So let's put that back in there. Oops, wrong way around, you tit. There we go. That can go back in there. We're happy and dappy. Right then, so we've given it all a bit of a clean out, it's all been carb sprayed, it's all been done, everything is working, I just need to clean the bottom of this out and we'll be away. I think it might be worth pointing out to make sure that if you're doing this to make sure that you get the little valve which is the little silver thing in there slid in between the little things because that's how it works it moves it up and down if you don't slide it in between it won't work there's no spring on it little things like that that should be pointed out I think because well, if you don't, then it won't work, will it? So you've got to think, how is this going to go on the engine? That goes that way round. And I want that to be like that, so I can drain it off if I need to. Put that on there. Nice. We're getting there now. It's nearly back together. Oh, sweet. Right, I have got it back together. I mean, who needs gaskets, eh? <laughs> I don't like putting gaskets. Um, well, I do like putting gaskets, but I couldn't be bothered. You know what I mean? I've got to wait for gaskets or gasket paper. I'm not going to go out and buy any. So I'll put it all back together. So let's turn the petrol on and see if we've got any leaks. Because I did break the fuel line, but then I just put it back on anyway. Well, I didn't put it back on anyway. Where's it gone? Oh, I had a bit... I had a bit here that... I don't know where it's gone. Anyway, I cut a bit off. I cut the end of it off that I broke. I'm not paying for more more fuel line. I'm not uh, not spending money. That uh, Jake Frost has been sending me comments. No, you got confused, dude. I don't have a load of tools. Um, I just have the minimum. If you watch my videos, I've seen your channel now, and you're 12 years old and you do a bit of woodwork. Very good. That's good. But if you watch the rest of my videos, you'll see that I don't have a lot of tools. I bodge everything. I don't buy the right tools for the job. I use the wrong tools and break the tools. Anyway, let's see if we can get this to 
see if we can get this to start. There's no fuel coming out. I just wonder if it's got anything in it. One thing I have got to fix is the throttle because that broke up there. Oh, we ain't got a lot in it, look. It's got nearly none in it. All right. I'll have to have a look, see if I, I might have some. What else have I got? What can I use as petrol? What can I use as petrol? Let's give it a bit of persuasion. There's probably no petrol going in there because I ain't got none in it. So we'll put a bit of persuasion in there and see where that gets us. I don't think we've got any. I don't think we've got any pet rolls going in. So I haven't, uh, I haven't got any pet roll. So I could stick a bit of monster in it again and see what happens. The quad run on monster. See what happens. I think it was a good job that I found this uh, monster in there. So now if I pour some of this in the old tank, hopefully we'll uh, we'll get some running. Not too keen on monster anyway. But I am, I quite like it but I think this mower will like it more. Well, let's hope so anyway. Right, let's get going then. Let's see what we've got. Do you know what? I probably should put the air filter back on. Because we all know that lawn mowers are a bit small engines like this, are a bit temperamental. And they like to have their air filters on. They like a bit of pressure, back pressure, or whatever you want to call it. They don't like running, but they run a bit lean if you ain't got an air filter on them. It's going to need a bit more persuasion, isn't it? Persuasion. That's enough of that.
Right, it's not right, obviously. Do you know what I think? I think I need to take it apart again. Um, I know that the gasket's going to be leaking. It's going to be sucking in air through there. The choke doesn't appear to be working. But I think that's because of that broken cable. So, because the trouble what I've got is where, it, where that cable broke. That is um, supposed to be tick over, but it ain't. And that is as far as it will go because the cable now is shorter um, and that's full throttle, but also on choke. But that is supposed to be choke there, but that's choke. So where you got that there is actually on choke and that is about half throttle, whereas it should be tick over. See what I mean? Everything is put back. No, sorry, everything is put forward. Anyway, it's because the cable's shorter. So that's the reason. Um, so, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. There'll be a part two to this in that case. I'm going to go and... I'm going to go and get some gasket paper. I'm going to have to because that gasket... The gasket that's on that is no good. It's ripped. And I just put it together and put it on. It ain't going to work. We all know that. <laughs> so I'm going to go and get some gasket paper at some point and uh, we'll take it apart and do it again anyway let's have a look at some more of these I like reading through these we've got Jake Frost oh you had lots of tools no I don't have lots of tools dude check out my toolbox tool please oh, I'll do it later um, we've got oh Bezaic hello mate oh Bezaic bloody blimey oh, look at this let's read it well that was up to usual standard Rusty I see you have a thumbs down yeah, I noticed that. Well, there you go. That's what you get. It wasn't me, Governor. Honest. I very rarely thumbs down a video, but for you, I could make an exception. Yeah. You'd be pleased to know that I had a successful bowel movement in the end. Oh, brilliant. That's good to know, old dude. But try to keep to a regular upload schedule so I can have three morning excavations, evacuations while watching your fantastic, fascinating life. I'll try my best there, old chap, but I can't promise anything, really. <laughs> Who knew that looking through another man's toolbox could be so exciting and I'll never tire of the background music that you insist on including in every video. Is that to muffle the screams of the many poor ladies you have imprisoned in the pit below your shed? No wonder you were reluctant to show it. Well, yeah, I have to admit, there is a, a secret behind that. <laughs> now, as I said, actually, as I said earlier on in this video, I really like that song. I mean, I, it, that song is like two years old. The person who makes that song, that song is in the link to all of the videos. The link to them is all of the, my videos. But that song is just... I, I, I listened to it a long time ago, like a year or so ago, and I used it in one video, and then that was it. And then I found it again like a few weeks back and I can't stop listening to it so I'm putting it in every video it's in this video brilliant anyway where were we um, anyway I'd love to stop and chat but I have another video of my own to edit and I would hate to disappoint my fan by not my fan it means fans even you can make mistakes Mr. Ibezaic um, just put my fans we're not uploading it today by the way I find vegetables keep better in the fridge or at the very least a cold pantry I was more surprised to see you have vegetables in your house as Kentucky Fried Chicken Pizza at McDonald's don't go don't go a bundle of them do they? What? what's that all about? don't understand that uh, keep taking the tablet sweetie and I'll be around later this evening as you are <laughs> if on order <laughs> Oh man, how do you know about all the Avon stuff, Obezaic? I don't understand. I thought someone's telling you secrets. Jake Frost, okay. Brian Williams. I read that one. Why I caught the Hoover? It's a Dyson vacuum. I know, man. Why do people call Dyson's Hoovers? It does my head in. <laughs> oh, there we go. The boys lock up. You're a good old bloke there, mate. Never met you. Um, what have we got here? Have you done? Have you done a toolbox tour of your roll cab? Hey, oh, that was a roll cab. No idea. You just uploaded one. Oh, have I? All right. I don't know what the bloody roll cab is. All right. Fair enough. I found a rat in my toolbox before. Brilliant. Nice. No, just oh, we got here. 
Nice to see a toolbox. Can can see you fixing a broken hoover. I don't have any hoovers anymore, old Matthew Martin. I don't have any hoovers, mate. Oh, I have got one hoover. It's a uh, 262, but that's in my collection. Doesn't really need fixing. So, I haven't got any hoovers. Um, bunch of fannies. Top lads. Nice vid. No idea. No idea. Dude, drill a hole and drain the tank of... S or siphon through a hose after turning off the supply. Eh? Supply of what? What are you on about? That's on an abandoned video. What the hell are you on about, you nutter? What have we got here? Oh. What would I piss on? Oh, that one. No idea what you're on about. Anyway, that's it for the comments. Because they were... Well, they were getting a bit, uh, well, it just seemed to be random ones. <laughs> oh, Glenn Stevens. I saw Glenn Stevens. What did he put? He seems to be fairly, uh, fairly, uh, usual. Have you been smoking Jamaican wood beans, young man? What's one of them? Eh? What's one of them, mate? 